My name is Kelly Ladd. I'm a paper artist and I grew up here in uh, Orlando, in Lake Mary actually, and I went to uh, UCF and um, I became a paper artist. I started focusing specifically on paper about five or six years ago when my husband, um, he has Lyme disease and one of his symptoms that he developed was a condition called multiple chemical sensitivity and he could no longer be around paint. So I had to figure out a way to create art using materials that he could use and so he could be around paper. So um, I started playing with paper to see what I could do with it and over time I developed cool textures and techniques and um, I then started making things like this. Well, I start my piece off um, with an idea, and th that idea I generally get either in meditation or that place between sleep and awake. I'll, like an idea will come, or like I'll get a flash of an inspiration, and and then I'm like, okay, that's the next one I have to make, and. So then I either sketch it out or I wait till the next morning and sketch it out and the idea is in my head until I actually make it. Right now, um, I'm really into circles. I, circles are in a lot of my work. Uh, not all of them, but most of them. And circles for me, they represent nature and the universe and like the cycles of water and the ebb and flow of the tides and I'm really into just the idea of infinity and connections between people and I think the circle represents that really well. With my work I'm really trying to show that people can be curious about things and have a sense of wonderment about things and be playful about things because everyone goes through life and like as you get older you get really serious and and I just want people to remember like like take a step back and like remember when you were a kid and how curious you were and how you want to explore everything and and I really want to show that in my work and I feel like with the repetitive nature of, of my pieces, it has a rhythm to it. And I really want to show that they can get back into that rhythm of being curious. My next phase, I would really love to start doing some installation pieces. Um, either pieces that are big on one wall or a, a, a whole room of an installation piece. And a theme that I really would like to start to explore is emotions, human emotions, um, from both sides, from fear and despair and sadness to joy and happiness and everything in between. I, I think um, a lot of people hide their emotions and I really want um, to explore the idea of just sharing, sharing what you're feeling. And, I really would like to explore that using color and um, so I have a lot of ideas in my head. I haven't really made anything concrete yet, but I have a lot of ideas moving forward with that. Oh, two in particular. Um, one, her name is Jen Stark. She's a paper artist um, who does a lot of very vibrant colors and she's She's from Miami and she moved over to LA and, and um, she, she, she has a very rhythmic repetition in her work too, but hers is a lot more geometric um, design, but I, I really admire her work. And another work is an installation artist named um, Crystal Wagner. I love her stuff. It, she does these bold, giant installation pieces with lots of color and texture and I, I'm really inspired by her work too.